So basically what Apple has done, they've moved the M2 MacBook Air, the 13 inch down to, be, to become the base model basically. So if you want to buy the cheapest, cheapest MacBook Air directly from Apple, brand new, you, you have to buy the M2 version. Above that, you go to the M3, you know, the 13 inch or the 15 inch. The eagle eyed among you will have noticed that something has happened as a result of that, which is that the M1 MacBook Air has gone. Anyone, wh whether you're working video editing or you're just someone who occasionally finds themselves at, you know, out on the road in a pinch and you need power, you'll know that if that thing lets you down, you lose confidence in that thing very, very quickly. That never happened with the M1 MacBook Air. It, every time I called on it <laughs> in a pinch and in, in a, a moment of panic because I had to get something done, it just worked. I did a, at my top, I think it was my top five Max of the Apple Silicon era video a little while ago. Spoiler, number one was the M1 MacBook Air. 